Hello, hello, hello! What? You're tuning in to another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic the Browns make a splash move. Look! <laughs> you know what's crazy? I keep saying that these teams are not resting on their laurels. They are not satisfied with just making the playoffs. They are not satisfied with having a top flight offense. They're not satisfied with having a top flight defense. They are actively, willingly, pervasively trying to get better. And nothing in their minds is trying to stop them from somehow getting better, even if it's by an inch. And case in point, the Browns have traded for Jerry, Judy, JJ, as some people might call him, from the Broncos. First round pick, Jerry, Judy, for hear this, a fifth and a sixth. Isn't that how they got Amari Cooper? <laughs> yeah! So... And a lot of people didn't want Amari Cooper. They said, oh, he's washed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, look, they have three guys now that can get vertical, that can get deep on you. Pause. And let's be real. That's a very good receiving core. Amari Cooper, Elijah Moore, Jerry Judy. Yeah. That's a darn good receiving core. And with Nick Chubb coming back, and then Joku playing like, hey, he finally figured out the game of football. That could be a heck of an offense. Heck of an offense. And of course, this would only happen in the AFC North. <laughs> you know, our division. The division where the Ravens reside. Bro, it's so ridiculous. Like, the AFC North is so stacked. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, at this point, it wouldn't even surprise me if uh, Justin Jefferson got traded to the AFC North. It wouldn't even surprise me. It would not surprise me because it's just ridiculously competitive. And now there are reports that Russell Wilson is looking like he's eyeing to go to the Steelers. For all of you that think Russell Wilson is washed, I promise you, he's not. <laughs> and he's coming to the AFC North to reek and to wreck. Other squads and teams. So, like, I'm, I'm sitting here like, bruh. Now, mind you, as a caveat, I'm not big on Jerry Judy. I think that he's somebody that's immensely talented that's never, like, he never realized his potential. You know what I mean? Immensely talented, but never fully uh, 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 realized his potential. So, listen. This is why I make a big deal out of something like, like this, right? Sometimes all it takes is a change of scenery. You understand where I'm coming from? Sometimes that's all it takes, and you get a totally different player. Y'all understand that, right? That's how some players, that's why it's the old saying, sometimes you just need to change the scenery. That's how that's how this could be. This he could turn into one of the best receivers in the league. Top 12 in receiving yards, touchdowns, all that stuff. I'm telling y'all. Bro. <laughs> Yo. Bro, it it it, it really is kind of crazy like how this stuff happened. Oh, and if y'all think for one second historically speaking if you need a big name that went from PU to Hall of Fame, look no further than Chris Carter. You understand where I'm coming from? So I know a lot of people like, oh, I don't believe in Judy. A lot of people were uh, thought that Chris Carter was washed. He went to the Vikings and had a literal Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame career. We don't know. That can literally be his standing. And mind you, uh, Deshaun Watson started coming into himself last season as the season started to get on. So... We don't know what that's going to be. Is he going to start the season, or is it going to be Joe Flacco again? We don't know how that's going to work. But I tell you what, that offense is not going to be nothing to play with. They're going to have a legit three starting, good starting wide receivers, a legit top five running back, and a, 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 a super athletic down the field vertical threat at the tight end position. They're going to have, they have, bro, they got, they got, they got guys. The only thing they got to worry about is offensive line. That's it. They got guys. 
They got horses. You feel me? Man, I, the AFC North gets more difficult every single day. I keep trying to tell you, I hate the AFC North. And everyone's like, oh, you should love the competition. No one's not saying that we don't love the competition. What I'm saying is the AFC North battles a different brand of football. And by the time it's time to play, a lot of your guys are dinged up, super hurt, or, or out for the season. That's why I don't like the AFC North. It's not it's nothing about competition. It's the style of football that we all play. It's one thing to be the bullies of the NFC. It's another thing to be the bully in the AFC North. And think about this real quick. The Ravens have been a top three AFC team in the, for the past six years, right? We still have problems with the Steelers. The Steelers have a winning record versus us for, the, for our last, like, nine games to show you how the AFC North plays. Bruh, a lot of people will sit there and act like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, that's what we like. I want Super Bowls. Do you know what Do you know what? Um, Patrick Mahomes has in common with Brady? His division bites. <laughs> It's a cakewalk. They don't have to try always so hard. They can they can keep it on cruise and take it up when it's needed. Shout out to Akira, uh, uh, Akira Toriyama, uh, uh, Toriyama again, right? Akira Tor Toriyama, right? If y'all remember Dragon Ball Z, that was the biggest thing with Mastered Super Saiyan. Y'all remember when they went into the hyperbolic chamber and they were using all the Ultra uh, Ultra Super Saiyan? They got all the muscles. Oh, yeah. The, the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, 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 version of the Super Saiyan transformation. And you know what they said? They said, no, the master is better. Why? Because it had you have endurance. Then you can focus on increasing power if need be while keeping speed. You understand where I'm coming from? That's the difference. It, listen, man. And, 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 oh, man, the AFC North just irks my spirit. And then you hear stories and reports that, hey, Justin Jefferson would love to play for the Bengals. <laughs> I, listen, let me tell you something right now. Nothing would irk me more if the Bengals kept T. Higgins for one more season and also brought in Justin Jefferson to say, you know what, we're going to give him the money. Or if he took a pay cut to go to Cincinnati to play with Chase and what's his name again. Nothing would sicken me more than that move. I don't even like bringing it up because I'd be like, bro, but the Jerry Judy thing, I'm going to re-put it back up. That's not bad, man. That's a great move for the Browns. I think Jerry Judy is going to go there renewed. With a, with a young fervor to his game, and I think he's going to surprise a lot of players, a lot of people, a lot of fans. But like I said, we don't know what's going to happen. I could be wrong, but I'd put money on that Jerry Judy has a darn good season next year. Darn good. 1,100 yards, nine touchdown good. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you think that he's going to have a good season next year, or do you think, ah, we don't care about him? Raven flock forever. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section, all right? But as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkind Show. Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment in all of the comments. If you haven't done so already, check out the Wonderkind Show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to help out with equipment, the new stuff that we've talked about plenty of times, the Starlink and also the, the cameras. Uh, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Dr. Signing Off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh. Yeah.